Hi guys, welcome back to your readings. Welcome back and Merry Christmas. Today is the 24th, right before Christmas. And I'd like to express to you guys my love for you all. Thank you for being a part of my life, for being such a big influence in my life, for being such a big support in my life, especially when I go through some very difficult moments. You guys are always there to cheer me up, to send me wishful thoughts happy memories that I have shared with a lot of you from my channel. So thank you guys. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. I wish you all the luck, love, abundance, and a prosperous, prosperous new year. And lots of blessings for Christmas. I have a reading here. Today we're going to visit the energies that may affect us for the week of December the 24th through to the 31st, which brings us right into the new year. So... Let us proceed. The first cards that have come out in the reading have been the Knight of Wands and the Fool. So it's all about taking action for new activities, for new ideas, taking that leap of faith, trusting our gut feeling. So it's all about new adventures that we're going to be embarking on as this year ends and the new one begins, which follows suit. But for some of us, we have problems with uh, moving forward, we have fears. Um, we're very slow at detaching from familiar places and situations and people that have been in our lives up to now or for a good part of it. So we have fears in letting go. But this card tells me that regardless of your fears, regardless of what your intuition is telling you, and your higher self trying to warn you, or perhaps it's just your ego telling you that you cannot do something, that you cannot change, that it brings fear into your decisions, you're still going to take action because you have a fire sign behind you, because you have the strength, you have stealth, and you have the desire to move your life forward regardless and in spite of your fears in spite of the people around you that may be naysayers or saying, no, you can't do this. No, you can't go there. No, you shouldn't because you're in a stable situation now. Why stir the waters? Sometimes we have to stir the waters in order to enact change in our lives that leads us towards our dreams, towards our wishes, the things that we desire to change, the things that we want to bring into our lives. Sometimes we have to take action because it will not come towards us. We have to move towards it. So, once we start taking that action, it's like a magnet. It will attract towards us the things that we have been asking the divine for. But it's clearly telling us, if you don't take that leap of faith, and if you don't take that action and enact movement in your life, it isn't going to happen quite as quickly as you would desire. But once you start taking the steps to move your life forward, to change the things that you really need to change in your life, or else you're not going to be happy, you're not going to... Um, fulfill those dreams or those feelings and desires that you do have in your life to change it, to move it forward. So taking action, taking that leap of faith, even if it's just baby steps, talking to new people, opening doors that perhaps have been closed for a very long time, at the very least knocking on the door, see if it opens, even if it's just a little crack, try to go through it. There's going to be some lucky changes, activities that begin, they're fresh, they're new, they're new messages that may come through that you need to pay attention to because it's going to bring you a lot of luck and a lot of changes as you move forward. Of course, we have our fears that are going to try to stop us. We have those chains that have been binding us, that have been holding us back, that make us feel like, no, we can't do this. No, we can't go there. But we're going to be breaking through a lot of addictions, negative energy, negative thought patterns, fears that have been clouding our judgment and making everything the color gray or the color dark when it should be full of light and hope and movement forward. So breaking addictions is highlighted for us and balance as well because we have temperance right behind that. That will bring us peace once we balance our lives, once we forget about our ego, overcome the fears that we have to move our life forward. It will help bring us peace into our lives and more balance with our emotions, with our physical life and our spiritual life. We're going to balance that, which is great. <coughs> Too much talk. Oops, let's 
See, it's all about juggling. It's all about balance. I swore I didn't know that card was there. I just thought I'd pull it. So we're going to be doing a lot of juggling as we move forward with our decisions. Perhaps for some of us, it may be two partners, two situations, two jobs, two homes, two choices to leave a home, to start something new, to stay behind. Sometimes the fear of change is greater than the hope that we have in order to change and to bring our dreams towards us. So it takes a little bit longer for some people to move forward to overcome their fears. So we juggle two situations until finally one wins, until finally we start to move forward in that direction. For some of you, it may be two jobs that you're trying to work, that you're trying to juggle so that you can get them both done, a little time here, a little time there, get them both going on and still try to move forward in your life, still live your life. Lots of transformative energy is coming about due to these changes, that leap of faith, the action that you're going to take, the juggling that you're going to be doing will bring about that transformative energy, new growth, happiness, peace, there is light at the end of the tunnel. We just need to overcome our fears. By using our intuition is going to be very helpful. So try not to discount your intuition because it will be pointing you in the right direction. It will help tell you who to talk to, who not to talk to, what direction to go in. If three doors open, You'll have to focus on the right one. You'll have to listen to your gut because that is how you're going to make it through. It will bring you power to listen to your intuition. It drains you when you don't, when you go against where your guides are trying to help you go to or what your intuition, your higher self is trying to tell you to do. When you ask for something, it immediately starts to bring energies or situations into focus so that you start going in that direction. Or if you need to learn something or meet someone or talk to someone, it'll start giving you that information. So you need to listen to that because it's what brings you the power. When you start to shut it down and through fear not follow your intuitive guidance, then it drains you, it leaks you of power. And you feel like you're tired, like you can't move forward because you're not following your intuition, your intuitive guidance, or your heart, where you really want to go, what you really want to do with your life. So listen to your intuition as you move through the end of the year and start to get into January because there's going to be a lot of transformations. For a lot of us, we're going to be going through some big changes in our lives. It's going to be a little bit difficult to juggle everything that's going on, but we will be able to do it because we're happily moving forward in our lives. We're taking that leap of faith that we have been wanting to do, but through fear, that has been holding us back. We haven't done it. But I see that we're taking the chain off. We're not going to be tied back or tied down by no means. Because by taking action, it'll bring about some very fortunate changes. We'll have a lot to learn, a lot to do, a lot of people to talk to, a lot of changes. But it will bring us the peace that we are trying to find, that we're seeking, the balance that we need with our family, with our lives, with our friends. New ideas. New ideas that move us forward with the Page of Wands. Away from this, away from the heartbreaks, the heartache, the tough decisions, the third party situations for some of us that we have to break away from, release all that old energy. It's going to be leaving us Six of Cups, support from family, from friends, from the people that are coming into our lives. This Three of Cups may bring us a bit of nostalgia, thinking about the past, thinking about relationships in the past, situations in the past, but with support, we'll be able to move away from that and move into this new energy that's coming into our lives. Enlightenment. Angel of Prophecy. Watch your dreams. Try to remember your dreams. Sometimes it's very difficult, but you may get some information in your dreams through your angelic guide or through one of your guides. It may bring you some information or may show you something that you need to know. 
it definitely speaks to us. So when we wake up, we kind of follow some intuitive guidance that we don't know how we got it, or we think of things that we think, wow, do I, how do I remember this? Why do I remember this? It's from a dream. It's from your angels or your guides talking to you or trying to guide you. There's going to be some prophecy enacted in your life, some enlightenment that you're going to see and go, wow, this is my path. This is what I need to do. This is the direction that I need to go in. You're going to know it because you have been asking. It's going to bring some transformation into your life. There's that little butterfly. So by meditation, by paying attention to your dreams, by listening to your intuition, by following your intuition, you're going to bring about some very lucky transformative energy that's going to move you in the right direction. Okay, guys? Don't forget, for some of you, you're thinking about traveling. You're preparing, you're teaming up with other people in order to move this energy forward, in order to go in the direction that you need to go in. You're taking action, and a lot of people see it. They're seeing that you're doing good work, and people are following you. So you will be able to manifest what you want into the physical realm, because here's the magician. As above, so below, you'll be able to pull the energy down that you need in order to move your life forward, your plans to be manifest. So as you're moving through the end of the year, you're going to be able to manifest a lot of things. You're confused and indecisive because you don't have enough information. But the Page of Pentacles tells me that you're going to get that information. You're going to be learning something new, talking to people, getting the information that you need in order to be able to move forward. Not having enough information sometimes causes a fear and it blocks us from being able to move forward. But that's not going to continue because you do not have enough information, do research or seek expert advice before making a decision. And once you do that, you will be able to decide and go in a different direction. Angel Uriel, your emotions are healing, which enables you to open to greater love. I will help you release anger and unforgiveness from your mind. So this is also aiding you. There'll be energy that comes through to aid you with your relationships, anger, unforgiveness, to get rid of this Three of Swords energy that's been lingering. Into this new year, you're going to be releasing that, okay? You're going to take that chain that's been holding you back off of your neck. No more of this negative energy. You're going to be enlightened this year, okay? One more card. We're being blessed. You see how the cards kind of all fall together? Through blessings, changes of events, things that happen, we're going to be moving forward. It's time to go. So for some of you, it's time to move. It's time to leave a job. It's time to leave a relationship. You know what this applies to in your life. But it's time to move forward. Knowing that you're blessed, that you're being guided, that this isn't just happening because you are bored and it's... A whim on a whim it's not on a whim it's time to make the changes that you know you need to in order to change your life to be happier you're being blessed so this is all angelic guidance that you're having perhaps even family members that are helping you move forward because you've asked for things and the change is coming angel of guidance it's coming to help move your life forward so guys I hope you've enjoyed the reading. I will be talking to you guys again soon. Uh, you want an interactive reading? Let me do it real quick with the uh, two decks that I have out. All right, that's all I have. Okay. A, B, or C. Now, will you guys get your questions? So concentrate on your question, on the changes that you may want to have between now and the end of the year or start to think of. A, B, and C. Alrighty. A, B, C. And an extra one. And I'm going to pull a tarot card also.
A, B, and C. For those of you that chose A, again, your emotions are healing. It'll help you open up to new relationships, new situations at home, new situations at work. You're beginning to see things from a different perspective, which helps a lot. There's a lot of sacrifice that goes on when we meditate, when we try to enlighten ourselves to, to walk more of an enlightened path. A lot of sacrifices need to be made in order for us to change. So sacrifices are being made and it's paying off. There's a lot of situations that are coming back around in your life so that you can see them for what they are and helps you heal, helps you heal the past and open up to greater love. So for some of you, there may be a soulmate that comes back in order to close out some cycles that perhaps were not closed. You may feel like people that are coming back into your life have the same energy as something that you don't like but there's something there that you need to learn yet once you do it'll stop happening it's just the way it is you have a lot of indifference when it comes to certain situations in your life certain people your life in general you need to change this you need to change this and become more involved in what's happening the universe is trying to gift you something or bring something to your attention and you're not seeing it because you're focused on the past you need to focus on today and focus on your dreams and what you like to see manifest in your life so that you change this energy of indifference because you're seeing things over and over again the same energy happening because you haven't learned you haven't opened your heart forgive the past let go of things try to focus on what is this energy why does it keep coming back around what am i not seeing it's usually within yourself so you need to open up open your heart look within what are you afraid of Again, you're confused, you're not seeing things clearly, you need more information of the changes that you're trying to enact, or perhaps there's a situation with a family member or a relationship, you need to investigate that situation more. Maybe you're not seeing things clearly, you have to focus. You're poised right now before changes occur in your life. Make sure that you have enough information before you make any of the changes. And you have the sun card, so this is the best card. There are some beautiful things that are going to start happening in your life, but you need to be sure of yourself. Focus on yourself. Help yourself a bit more. Focus on your health. You need more information about certain things that you want to do. You're poised for a change, but nothing is happening right at this moment because there's something that you still need to focus on, to look at, to take care of. And then you're going to have some new beginnings that will happen in your life that promise some good things for you. For those of you that chose C, you're a light worker. God needs you to shine your divine light and love like an angel upon the earth and all its inhabitants. There's something that you need to do for others and it's time you start focusing on it. Okay, there's a deeper knowing. So you know that there's a higher power that's giving you information through your dreams, through intuition, through a sixth sense, clairvoyance, clairsentience something you know that there's a power that's helping you and you need to let it out you need to share it with other people okay because there's information that you need to tell others whether it's family members the general public friends children please share your knowledge with others and be careful not to betray yourself or let others betray you in any way check your bank accounts um, don't leave your purse laying around or your wallet lock your car lock your house okay because this is also a card of someone taking something from you it could be gossip it could just be childish things but watch yourself in the next couple of weeks because we may go out party with people and leave our purse laying there or our wallet open so be careful all right guys i hope you've enjoyed the reading i love you guys i will talk to you again soon have a beautiful beautiful christmas bye for now